Hello, today we are going to be watching nuptial flights. Let's start. About a week before the nuptial flights, there's lots of ant activity above ground. This is because they are making the nest entrance bigger for the elates to pass through. Once the holes are big enough, the elates come up. They will not fly yet, but they are just preparing for the big day. There is also lots of workers at the top. They are guarding the elates as they are important in the ant life cycle. Eventually, after a hot day, all the elates come in massive crowds to the top of the nest. There are loads of them. Then they'd start to take off. Um, here is some slow motion footage of some elates taking off and leaving the colony to mate. types of elates. There are the queens and the males. You can identify a queen and a male since the queens are bigger and the males are smaller. Also you may notice that the queen's um, abdomens are larger in comparison to the male's abdomens if you look at them. After the flights the queens drop their wings and land on the ground. If you are willing to catch some queens, this is the time to do it. To catch one, all you really need to do is place a test tube on top of them, wait for them to crawl up, and then quickly pop the lid on, as you can see here. Isn't she cute? After that flight, I managed to catch 15 queens. I have moved them all into proper test tube setups now. If you want to see how to make them, check out this tutorial. If, if anything exciting happens with these queens, I will be sure to let you know. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye!